and Jenny was showing cute. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I gave you a bedroom tour of my daughter's bedroom, and there's a whole bunch of projects in there that you guys wanted to see. And so today, I'm going to give you one of those, and we're going to work on these cute little dream catchers. All right, I'm going to start out by taking this six inch wreath and I'm going to take it apart. And there should be about two pieces or so that come with it. And so this is the second piece. I used the first piece on this dream catcher. And I'm going to rework it to where it's the exact size that I want for my doily. Once you get the right size, I got this brown craft wire in the floral department and I'm just going to wrap it around to keep my size contained on my wreath. Next you just need a needle and thread and I'm just using a neutral color and I'm just going to sew the doily right around the wreath and you want to make sure and pull it snug. When you first start sewing, it's a little bit tricky. It feels like it's not going right, but you can just pull it snug as you go and you're just gonna be doing a zigzag motion from the wreath to the doily. After you've stitched all the way around, you can see that it's loose like this. So now what I'm going to do is just go through and pull the string until it's all nice and snug and then tie it off. I'm just taking my strings and folding them in half and then I'm going to slip them through an area and pull it through just like so. And then you just keep adding until you think you have enough on there. Each of us are individual and we have individual dreams. Likewise, we will all have individual dream catchers. Um, like Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. And I really believe that. So keep your dream catcher close and may all your wildest dreams come true. We will all have different dream catchers. And just like Walt Disney said, if you can dream it, you can do it. And I really believe that. So make your dreams come true. I cannot speak today. 